Hey, these instructions are not very good. That is one of the two things that I have issue with this sun basket. Okay. First is the prepared sauces. Right. I can't stand that most of the time. And then the second is the unclear instructions. <laughs> if you don't know how to cook, you'd screw this up big time. Please hang up and try again. Hey guys, thank you for joining us tonight while we cook a wonderful dinner in our kitchen. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. If you're joining us again, welcome back to our channel. We're gonna be cooking sun baskets mushroom risotto. I've already sliced up the mushroom, I've chopped up the onions, and I have our parsley. I'm gonna get started over on the stove. Joe's gonna wash up the spinach, uh, and we're gonna start toasting and roasting over here. Righty. Recording. So, we're gonna start with some extra virgin olive oil from California in our pot. Get that nice and warm, and we are gonna fry up uh, an onion. So we have about one to two tablespoons. All right, there we go. Of the oil. We're gonna have salt. Tonight we're using Celtic salt. Um, it's unrefined, it's chock full of minerals and uh, it doesn't raise the blood pressure as much. So we're gonna have Celtic salt, we're gonna have regular pepper and our onion. We're gonna cook that in our pot for about two to three minutes. And then we're gonna add the rice. Done now. All right, in goes our onion. Am I browning this or no? Just sweating them down to like two or four minutes. Just to, to soften is really what it says. So they, they should be pretty softened. Add rice and cook, stirring occasionally until the grains start to turn translucent. That's two to three minutes. Okay. I'm going to add the pepper and the salt now. Okay. Do you want the grains yet? Am I adding it now? Add rice and cook, stirring occasionally until the grains start to turn translucent. Two to three minutes. Stir in one quarter cup of white wine from the pantry or water and cook until most of the liquid is absorbed. About 30 seconds. In the rice is gone. Okay, now put the wine in. Well, I have to do translucent, you said. Which is it? So it's, okay, two to three minutes. Alright, do you want to do this? Okay. It's 56, so 58. How much cups of water? We need the wine first. I know, but I want to get the water. So it says four and a half to six and a half. Well, some of it's for four and some of it's Yeah, so what's the one in four and a half? I think we're ready for the... Uh... Is it translucent? I think it will be in another 30 seconds. You timing it? Yeah, it's at two to three minutes. I wonder, I wonder why it doesn't give us wine. The other you know, service gave us wine. Yeah, go ahead. In goes the wine. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why they don't give us wine. Mm -hmm. The other service did. Well, you can use water too, so maybe mm. they're fine. Alright, so this is going to be about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Then in. we're going to add the, the umami powder that they gave us, which is a generous helping of powder, but it's a mixture. So in it is. Nutritional yeast, which is also a uh, vegan Parmesan, and porcini powder. Porcini powder is very hard and expensive to get, so they cut it with the nutritional yeast. Um, you can find both of those in the bulk food section at Whole Foods. We cook a lot with umami powder. 
which we get at Trader Joe's. They have the nutritional yeast at um, Whole Foods in bulk. And then they also have the dried porcinis that you can grind up yourself, which I actually like that better. So these are the dried porcinis that we keep at home. You have the water? I have four cups right behind you. And then I'll do another half a cup. Um, it says to put the powder in and then the four and a half cups of water. Go ahead. Um, I'll do another half. It'll take a while to get the temperature. Okay, right, a large frying pan. pan over medium heat, warm one to two tablespoons of oil until hot, but not smoking. Okay. So this is going to be the mushrooms and then the spinach, right? Mm -hmm. First the mushrooms. Mushrooms first. Add the mushrooms, season with salt and pepper, so, and cook stirring occasionally until lightly browned and softened about three to four minutes. These are our sliced mushrooms. You adjust it, you remember how to adjust it. Yep. Yeah. In go the mushrooms. And Joe's going to cook it for three to four minutes in the pan occasionally stirring it. I'm hesitant to add salt and pepper now because it's going to draw up the moisture. And we want to brown it. So whenever you want to brown a vegetable, you don't want to add the salt until after. So we're starting to bubble very slowly on our pot with the risotto. Okay. It's been in goes the spinach. Okay. What am I doing with the spinach? Cooking it down one or two minutes. One or two minutes on the spinach. We're still not boiling on our risotto. <laughs> Working in small batches, stirring the spinach and cook until wilted one to two minutes, removed mm -hmm. from the heat, season to taste, salt and pepper, meanwhile prepare the garnish. Garnish is prepared. So once all the spinach is wilted, I'm going to cut the heat. I don't want to overcook it because then it'll drain a lot of the nutrients and the vitamins out of that. And we want to keep as much of that as we can in there. And you put uh, your plate on the whole, put it on, your, on the stove. Square it. All right. So that should about do it. Yep. We're just going to let that sit. Hit it with a little bit more salt. Oosh. It's spinach, it needs it. Plus, this is Celtic salt, it's good for you. So okay. I just leave Take it that there. off the heat, all right? It's off. Slide it to the back. And why don't you stir that? Uh, I was gonna put pepper in it. Okay. So we're starting to bubble. Is it? Uh, it's not really boiling, but it's bubble, it's simmering. Okay. You want to adjust the heat and make it higher so it boils? Sure. All right, we'll get it to a boil. We'll set it and we'll see you guys back when all this liquid is pretty much gone. So we've now reached the 18 minute mark of our risotto. It still is a little liquidy. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So we're just gonna let it roll for a few more minutes, keeping an eye on it. This is our consistency. It's a little bit more liquid that needs to cook off and then we'll be ready to go. And spinach and mushroom going into our delicious Risotto, we're going to combine that. Thank you, dear. 
Doesn't that look delicious? We're gonna let that set up for a minute and then we're gonna plate. Okay, so we have plated our risotto. Ordinarily, I like to finish it off with the cheese in the pot, but this told us not to do that. It told us to plate it and then put the cheese on it for whatever reason. So here comes the Parmesan cheese. And then we have some parsley, which I'm making a mess out of. Okay, there it is. Uh, I've tasted it prior to plating it and it tastes delicious. <laughs> you know you wanted to taste it too, you probably did. All right, so guys, thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen this evening. We had a lot of fun cooking with you tonight. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the videos. And if you'd like to get $40 off your first box, please click the link below. And uh, that will take you to a coupon for $40 off your first Thumb Basket box. Have a great one.